What's up guys, so let me just start this video off saying don't you guys just hate gamers and hate white people? Don't you guys just hate them? I mean every time I see a white person or, or a gamer, I just want to take my hands and strangle them and destroy them and wipe them off the face of this planet. Now but what's up gamers, so today I am back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'm actually uploading back to back, seeing how this works because you know, I feel like videos should be made, you know, in a timely manner when they're supposed to be put out, not a day early, not a day late, stuff like that. So we're going to be giving that a try, not guaranteeing I'm going to be uploading every day. I'm going to be following my every other day schedule, but you know, if I have a video that I want to upload in a day in between, I'll probably start doing that. So that is an example of this, but guys, welcome to another video. It is currently three in the morning. May the 18th, so this video is going up today. And guys, today we are going to be talking about Steph or Ferociously Steph from Twitch. We're going to be talking about her because let's just say she's been knee deep in shit recently. So if you don't know who she is, she is a streamer on Twitch. She has been a streamer on Twitch for a very long time. A pretty successful streamer saying that. She's a she's pretty successful. I don't I don't follow Twitch streamers. I don't watch streams. I really don't. I think streaming is stupid. I just, I'm not really into it. If that's your hustle, that's your hustle. I'm just not really into it that much. So Twitch made this whole Twitch council thing. I, I, why is it called the Twitch council? Like, you know the meme, like the council will judge you now, or like the council approves of your <laughs> Like, it makes me think of that, so it makes me laugh, but it also sounds very intimidating. Like, the council of Twitches is here now. They're watching you. They're gonna make sure that you are following all the directions. Twitch. But basically the people on board, they're just people that are streamers or sponsored streamers that are just basically a member. So from the blog post that was made about the Twitch council, it said the board will support the growth of our community moving forward. So basically they're going to support the Twitch community moving forward, keeping Twitch alive, bringing new streamers to Twitch, stuff like that, which sounds great. That is awesome. They have a selection of duties, including drafting new policies and policy updates and promoting healthy streaming and work-life balance habits. Again, that sounds great. It sounds perfect. Do I think that now Twitch is now turning into YouTube where they're putting more guidelines and more rules on stuff? Yes, but was it only a matter of time before that actually happened? Yes. Now, one of these members is ferociously Steph. Now, let me just say, Twitch, this is bad on your part because you just, you literally just put someone in the one of the highest positions of power that they could be in on Twitch who thinks they're a deer, okay? You, she thinks she's a deer. A deer in the wild habitat, yeah. Pants, pants, fly, fly, fly. I'm gonna eat you, chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Now we're gonna get into flaming Steph because by 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 God by by God I had a stroke saying that but by God she deserves to get flamed. So way back in January of 2018, two years ago, she said, "Waving emoji, it's that time. We need to talk about why adding voice chat to your game is anti-inclusivity, how it hurts your marginalized and female player base, especially within competitive play." I'm going to break it down as consciously or concisely, excuse me, and clearly as I can. Let's go. Well, I'm not going into that string of tweets because that is completely stupid, saying that it marginalizes your female player base and other pe marginalized and female player base, excuse me. I want to know what the marginalized community actually means. Like, is that black people? Is that Hispanic people? Transgender people? I don't know who that is. I don't know who the marginalized community is, but the female based players, apparently it's hurting female based players. Here's the deal. You can hurt a boy's feelings just as bad as you can hurt a girl's feelings and it's vice versa. Some dude could come up to me and I could be having a really bad day and they could call me a fat <laughs> mother and I could be sad for the rest of the day. I could go up to a girl and I could call her a hoary and she would probably be sad for the rest of the day. It's the same thing. You know, there are things that you can say to guys that you can also say to girls that can hurt their feelings. So no, the gaming community just trash talks. They like trash talking. It's a part of games, any type of game, even chess. It's a part of every type of game is trash talk. She then tweeted out on May 14th, replying to herself, not saying you can't use voice chat with your friends or your pre-made, 
it hurts randoms in pickup matches. Well, yeah, if, if I'm playing Overwatch and my healers aren't healing me, I'm going to talk my healers because they should be healing me. Not only is it going to help us win, it's going to help them get their stats up and get better at the game. So, no, shut up. But the big one that I like, where she said on May 14th, oh yeah, whole lot of people with cis white male voices thinking voice chat is critical to competitive games being competitive. Tell me more about how we'll solve systematic misogyny and everything will be fine. LOL. So me, I'm a cis white male. I am. I'm a cis white male thinking voice chat is critical to competitive games being competitive. It is. That's how you communicate. You, you look at every single video game. Call of Duty, Overwatch, League of Legends, Dota. It's all about communication. The games are vi they're vital part why you're allowed to actually make a living off of it why you're allowed to be so good with a team is because you communicate with a team o okay it's it's not that you think the game chat should be removed no it's it's important if i'm again if i'm an overwatch and i need heals i can hold down my caps lock button and be like hey hey moira can i get some heals real quick and she'll be like oh yeah sorry i'll give you some heals it is vital. It's important. Oh, and by the way, there is actually no such thing as systematic misogyny in the United States. That's just a fact. If there was, it would be talked about a lot more. But there is no such thing as systematic misogyny. The fact of the matter is, is more boys play video games than girls do, which means it's a more boy-dominated thing than girls do. But that doesn't mean that there's any systematic misogyny. Now, there are misogynists out there. But saying that doesn't mean that there is systematic misogyny. So then on her stream, which we have a clip of, she says some very interesting things. So uh, let's roll that real quick. Well, no, I just, I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. It's really not that, I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact of how I feel. Which is so she said that most gamers are white supremacists. Are you f high? You've got to be out of your mind saying that most gamers are white supremacists. What? What is? What does that even mean? Most gamers are white supremacists. You know, here's the deal. I'll make any type of joke. I'll make a joke against someone that's gay, against someone that's transgender, someone who's black, someone who's Asian, someone who's Hispanic, someone who's white, and I don't mean it. It's just a joke. And you want to know what the people I tell it to? Know that I'm joking. I've made jokes about black people with my black friend, and this is my best friend, who I have been best friends with since I was six. So, no, the, the majority of gaming is not, and I repeat, is not, is not white supreme are are i i don't i don't know what to say she then went on to tweet may 16th i have never and will never say most gamers are white supremacists white men have the most privilege when it comes to voice chat communication this statement has riled more than a few white supremacists remember having privilege does not invalidate your hardships everyone has the same amount of privilege in a voice chat because everyone can use it there's no restrictions towards anyone. Y you are the biggest idiot in the world. Just because you're a girl, or you're gay, or you're black, you have the same privilege of using voice chat just like everyone else does, okay? And that's the fact. She then tweets, there are problems with voice chat. Let's talk about how to make the playing field more level, i.e. ways to effectively exchange tactical information without your voice. I'm not coming to steal VC from you. I was arguing against an impending reckless implementation. God, I can't read this late. If a lot and most are the same thing, why do you keep misquoting me? There's a lot of white supremacists in my comments and DMs right now, by the way. On her Twitch, she then streamed her saying something very, very juicy about the power that she had with the Twitch council. Let's roll that. But I'm hanging in there. And uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, you know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me. Um, and that they are, because I, I represent uh, moderation and diversity. And I'm 
gonna come for hurtful, harmful people. If you're a really shitty person, I'm gonna stand up against you. Period. And uh, I'm Twitch is endorsing me to do that, so. She says she's there to help with moderation and diversity, and she's also there to take down people. If you're a person, I am going to take you down. Here's the deal. That's already in her head. Just the way she's talking, like, Twitch, I have power. They can't take it away from me. Twitch is endorsing me to do all this stuff, so I can do this. You can just tell in her voice the power that she has and how she is not afraid to use it, whether it's rightfully or wrongfully. Again, this is a girl that thinks that she is a deer. So this girl or thing or I don't even know what to call it. I know I know it's transgender. She goes by she pronouns, but I don't even know. I don't mess with stuff like that. It's okay to be transgender. If you get the surgery, you're completely fine. If you didn't get the surgery, you're a cross gesture that's trying to be something that you're not. But in general, Twitch, this is someone that's acting like a deer. Someone that is acting like a deer. You gave a deer power. Who gives a deer power? The only power you give to deer is the power that you give them when you turn them into deer jerky and you eat them because it's delicious. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is this council is not a good idea. Or maybe the council's a good idea. The council could be a really good idea. Having this girl on the council isn't right. It's not a good idea because she is going to just deplatform a bunch of people that don't even deserve to be deplatformed. Twitch already has a problem with suspending people that don't deserve it. This is just going to increase that and people are slowly going to hate Twitch more and more over time. Twitch, you got to step up your game and Steph, you need to stop being a full-fledged retard because I swear to God, you are the dumbest person I have seen in a while. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hope you guys learned something and hope you guys realized just how dumb, how absolutely dumb this person is. If you did enjoy today's video, leave a big thumbs up on it. And guys, don't dislike. Don't you dare dislike or I'm going to send this girl thing over to your house and it's just, it's just going to mock you for being a gamer. Nah, but for real, guys, just comment down below what you didn't like about today's video. And I will be sure to fix that for you guys in the next video. Also, guys, remember to click that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you get a notification on your phone, tablet, and even laptop every time that I upload a brand new video to the channel. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you guys so much again for a 1,000 subs. Absolutely amazing. You guys are great. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, I guess. Yeah.